Welcome back to Self-Care Essentials, sponsored by Primera Blue Cross. So a big part of taking care of ourselves is nourishing our bodies. Nutrition and self-care are not one size fits all. In fact, my next guest says we should eat well with all the, without all the guilt that sometimes comes with it. I love that idea. Joining me now is registered dietitian and nutritionist, Shelly Najjar. Thank you, Shelly, for being here. Thanks for having me, Amity. You know, like I was saying, nutrition and self-care, it's not one size fits all. What do we know and what should we consider when it comes to intuitive eating? Yeah, intuitive eating is really about helping you figure out how does your internal body cues um, match up with the things that we know about science and how can we use a blend of that to guide what we eat that is specific for our situation rather than just having the external rules that tell us what we should or shouldn't eat that leads to guilt. Right. And we all know that breakfast is basically the most important meal of the day. And you put together some great breakfast ideas that can be catered to what we need individually. And the first one is the I do not have time to eat breakfast, which starts with yogurt and toppings. But you say oatmeal is super important and easy. Yes, yes. Um, so oatmeal we can do um, even without a microwave or a stove as long as you have boiling water. So I've heated this water in my hot water pot, so it's very fast and easy. I put the oats in the bowl, and then I just add the boiling water to it and give it a mix. And you can either put your toppings in at this time, or you can add your toppings um, after it soaks up all the water. And while you're waiting for the water to soak, you know, you can be putting, um, you can be checking your email, you can be doing other things. Um, so it's really hands off, which I love. Um, and so I'm just going to be putting like a little bit of jam and some nuts. Jam in your um, oatmeal. I've never heard of that. That is so cool. Yeah. And oatmeal is really, I, I've, you know, you've always heard, eat your oatmeal. It's so good for you. It is really good for us, right? It is very good for us. It's a great source of soluble fiber, which is helpful for digestion, stable blood sugars, um, you know, keeping us full and healthy and satisfied for a long period of time, um, giving us healthy cholesterol levels. It's a really great food. Absolutely. Okay, so the next person of the, the, the catered breakfast is my husband, 100%. The I don't eat breakfast, breakfast kind of guy. What do you give someone who doesn't eat breakfast? Yeah, well, first off, you give them understanding, right? We're all a little bit different, that sometimes it can be helpful to have a little bit of breakfast, have a little bit of something, so that we kind of prime the pump for getting used to noticing our hunger and fullness signals. So. Um, I have like a piece of bread, it could be any kind of bread with any toppings, fruits, um, even something as simple as a breakfast drink or a smoothie, um, just so that you start getting used to eating a little bit during the day rather than all at night. That's so important because I know it's not healthy to not eat till two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm talking to my husband right there. Um, the, the third one is my favorite. The last meal is the I don't like breakfast foods person. What do we eat for breakfast? Because I don't really. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. Um, and the really the key thing here is to give yourself permission to eat foods, right? It doesn't have to be breakfast food. Breakfast around the world look very different. Um, and so this could even just be leftovers because they're fast, they're easy. Um, there's something we already like to eat and, you know, you have them already ready to go. So this could be any kind of leftovers or any other kind of food that you prefer um, over like the typical breakfast foods. Wow, so, so key. I'm all about eating leftovers for breakfast. Uh, before I let you go, one quick talking point about the importance of nutrition, because I know I can't do anything unless I eat something in the morning, but it is really so important to all of the things our bodies do, right? So true, yes. Nutrition, especially as an act of self-care, really helps increase our capacity because it meets a basic need. And when we think about self-care, it's all about taking care of you know, the basic needs like you would a child or a pet, right? Feeding um, is one of those basic needs. So we're doing that to ourselves and that can increase our capacity to live and enjoy life, you know, take care of our other health concerns, make easier decisions, have more stable moods and emotions, um, more stable blood sugars, just in general, just like a healthier life. Just in general, half, happier, healthier life. Shelly, thank you so much for your time. It has been such a pleasure talking to you and learning with you. Um, we'll have to talk again. Thank you, Amity.
leftovers for breakfast, right? I am so into that. All right, we've listed all of Shelly's breakfast ideas as well as more about intuitive eating. If you want to find out more about what that means, how it works, what to do, how it make it part of your life, just text the word CARE, C-A-R-E, to 206-448-4545. Again, that number is 206-448. 4545. We're going to send you so many links. It'll be easy peasy to get healthy.